everyone and welcome to this day. It's Friday, June 7th and I'm Bobby Higgins. And actually it is my son's 18th birthday today. So happy birthday, Brayden. Funny little story when uh, he was getting ready to be born, we were very worried that he was gonna be born on 6606. So we were happy that uh, he waited until the 7th. Anyway, we have a great show coming up your way. Coming up on the show today, we welcome Eileen Ordway with the library update. And she's here to tell us about uh, some special features that our own village library has to offer. And after that, Cole Young will be here with this week's Sports Corner. So great show coming your way. And now it is time for today's Stay Informed. It's time for the 2025 Annual Reservation Lottery. Don't miss out on the first chance to reserve 2025 dates for your special events like anniversaries, birthdays, reunions, holiday celebrations, and any other personal or special club events. You can pick up lottery cards in the rec office or you can email your reservation request to recreation at vmsinc.org. All requests must be submitted by 5 p.m. on Monday, June 17th. For further information, call recreation at 949-597 four two seven three and now let's take a look outside at the weather it is not the tip or it is the typical southern california june gloom all week this week there's still fog out there this morning but then it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 61 tomorrow on saturday it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 76 and a low of 60 on sunday we'll have morning fog once again and then it'll be partly cloudy for the day on monday and tuesday it should be mostly sunny skies and now let's take a look at the sunrise and sunset. Uh, beautiful blooming flowers from Alan Clark and your sunrise was at 540 this morning and your sunset at 7.59 p.m. tonight. If you would like to have your photos featured here on this day, please email or text them to us at Laguna Woods Village TV at gmail.com. Stay with us because up next is the library update. But first, here's a look at today's meetings. Welcome to Pacific Financial Planners. We focus on income replacement for your retirement. We have over three decades of professional money management experience. We personalize a plan that's right for you and your family. You only get one shot at retirement. Don't you think you better get it right? So give us a call for your free consultation. We can do this over the phone, via Zoom, or in person. you've never known before. The Daydreamer will take you through smooth movements and guide you effortlessly into your favorite positions. Adjust the power pillow for ideal support for your head and neck. This and our positioning technology allows for infinite relaxation. Lay back in zero gravity while watching TV and put your body and mind at ease. Lift your spirits and find your favorite daydream. Contact your local Golden Retailer today. Welcome back to this day. Joining us now with the library update is Eileen Ordway. And Eileen, so nice to see you once again. Good thank to you see for, you. Thank you for coming in. So, uh, you know, one of the things we want to know is, you know, you guys are still open. There's construction happening. 
over at Clubhouse One. Tell us, tell us about the updates with that. Well, um, as far as we know, that the, the it's on schedule for uh, Clubhouse One to reopen at the end of the summer. We're we're keeping our fingers crossed mm -hmm. uh, because I, you know our the number of people coming into the library is a little bit lower than this same time last year, and we think that has you know some. Uh, that effect on what we're doing. Um, I think because people just assume the whole, you know, they can't even get in the driveway, so why should we even bother? Okay. But, um, but yeah, so I'm happy to tell everybody we're still there, still in business. Um, we are uh, just for the people who live in Laguna Woods Village, uh, there's the new Orange County branch over at City Hall, but, you know, we're not connected to them other than we swap books back and forth when people leave them at the wrong library. Oh, has um, that happened using, a uh, little bit? Yeah, I just was there yesterday. I had one of theirs and they had one of ours. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, and a lot of our people use, use both because there's yeah. benefits to both. The um, Orange County Library, that's located very close. That's right, the new one that just opened. Yes, right, right in the, the Aldi Shopping Center right next to Laguna Woods City Hall. Not okay. the village, yeah, community. But the center. village library is here We're inside here. the village. Yes, yeah, still right near Clubhouse. And how Lawn. is construction like outside? What does it look like? How is it affecting you guys? Um, it, when people pull into the driveway that would normally go straight back to Clubhouse One, you turn right, and that's and there's a little building, and that's where we are, and the history center. Um, so they have did not block off. They they left open enough for people to make that turn. Oh, good. And also. Um, I think bocce ball is still open, so they, there's parking up that we weren't expecting. So there's way more parking than we were expecting. Oh, good. And uh, yeah, so there's no reason that anyone could not stop. So it's to not like you, it's not like you have to park far and walk right. in. Right. Exactly. You, there is parking yes. right there. Yes. Oh, good. good parking. Yeah. Well, tell us about um, your library and some of the special catalog features that you guys offer. Yeah, I just want to make sure people know that we are the same as any other library, even though we're standalone. And we've got this great catalog application. I mean, I worked in information technology my whole life, and when I went, was diving into everything, that all the capabilities in this system. But you can find this, our website, to our catalog, two ways on the Laguna Woods Village website. One, under amenities, there's a link to our catalog. And then under the um, clubs, we also have a club website, and there's a link there. Okay. So you can actually um, search our catalog without logging in. So you could, some, any person in the village could look in this, actually anyone anywhere, could search on this uh, website as long as they have the link and see what we have available. So you can search by um, most popular. There's a whole list of what the most popular books are um, as based on what our residents are checking out. Okay. There's also, you can do a little search that shows what's new. What did we add in the last week, in the last two months for, for CDs, for uh, CD books, DVDs, and large print, regular print books. Um, also, we have a list of recommendations. The top recommendation now is all the uh, the favorite books by that listed by our volunteers. So we have about 60 books out there that our volunteers, who most of them are book lovers, have have said these are their favorites. Um, we also have out there uh, the past couple years uh, book club um, selections. We have the list of all the DVDs that we have that are Academy Award winners, Best Picture winners. Um, so a lot of information like that, that pe if people are looking for some kind of recommendation, they can find it there. Okay. So, okay. So, and this is, this is like if they're logging in from at home type yes. thing? Yes. Okay. It, yes. To log in from home, they first have to come to the library with their Laguna Woods ID. Okay. We would add them to this system so that we would have their information that they could pull up. Okay, so um, everything you were just explaining, that was without logging yes, in. Got yes. it. Okay. So then the next step right. is, is to, to log in, and there's more features yes. that they can do. So once you, once you have a login, if you find a book you like, you can reserve it. You could bookmark it. So maybe you think, oh, I might want to read this, but I can't right now. So they can put, make a, create their own list of things that they think would be interesting. Um, you could write a review on a book that you read. You couldn't even search on... Uh, for books that were reviewed by other people in Laguna Woods Village. Um, and there's a lot of search capabilities. 
You also have a My Account feature, so as long as you, when you pick that button, you can look up your contact information, make sure it's up to date. You can be, uh, let us know how you should be notified if you have a reserve, if you um, are, it's getting time for your book to be returned or your DVD. Um, and you can select whether we email you or text you. Um, you can see what I, I like that idea because uh, yes. I yes. lose emails all the time. <laughs> right. So I'm like, please send me a text, and yes. especially if yes. it's like a due date coming up. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> or um, if you've ordered a book and it's like, oh, your book is in now. Oh, great. Yeah. You know? yeah. There's also a list of everything that you checked out in the last two years. Oh, that's wonderful. So a lot of people don't remember. Yeah. yeah. I forget my mom and my aunt. We all <laughs> yes. we all share books. Yes. yes. And so we will initial inside the front. <laughs> page because otherwise we literally forget right. what we've read <laughs> that we don't want people to do but yeah <laughs> right but, so that's why this is so nice yes, yeah you exactly. don't want to be initialing the library book. exactly exactly <laughs> it's kind of like in the old days remember the little card that yes. you used to slip in and out and, right I guess that was just a stamp there was we no had, name on yeah, it yeah we have we used to have due date cards like that it would give the date but now um, our system will send an email to give to tell you what you checked out that day um, we're trying to go paperless. <laughs> so. Yes, yeah, yeah, I it like It saves those. the village a little bit of money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, always good. Yeah. And so any other, what other features? Um, you can go out oh, oh, in, in your account, you can look and see, you can ask us to purchase a book that we may not have. Um, we have a book buying committee who makes those decisions. If it's too old or uh, you know too expensive, we may not do it, but if it's something that's relatively new, uh, it's most likely that we will honor your request. Okay. Oh, um, and you can even say uh, you can. We have a list of authors that uh, we. It's under a system we call Reserve Express. That if they're your favorites, like a, like John Stanford here, um, you can mark in your account that he's one of your favorites. And when as soon as we get a brand new book in, oh wow, um, you will automatically get added to the reserve list. And it's random. So one time you might be first. And the other time you might be fifth or twentieth or but yeah so that's okay. something that you can so do. So if in a your lot of people account. like the have yes. signed up for the same author, yes, I love this idea. My my kids have a favorite author and they're always like, "Can you go see if there's right. a brand new exactly book?" At, but I'm like, I don't know the right. whole books you've read or not read. How do right. I know if one's new? Right. So you guys yes. take the guesswork out of it. Yes. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, yes. I love that. Yeah, this is this is so great. Yes. Is is there... I love it. I love it. <laughs> As an IT person, I think it's a great application. Yeah. And is John Stanford is Stanford is he one of the people that's on your recommended list? Uh, absolutely, he is one of the most popular authors in in the village. Oh, with the really? Village residents. Okay. Yes. And we actually um, a couple years ago, we the, the system allowed us to mark. Um, series. So like what number would a certain book be in this author's series of their okay. character? And this one is uh, Toxic Prey is a brand new one by John Sanford. It's number 34. So if you go into the system where we have this book right in the library, you can see the exact order of all the books. So if you wanted to start in order to learn about Lucas Davenport, you could. And uh, we actually have all but one of the 34 books. We're missing oh, number wow. four. But <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, so that's this wonderful. Is, this is a great feature that a lot of people really appreciate. I love this. It makes me think of when I was a kid and I was totally into Nancy Drew. Absolutely. And to Absolutely. go and order yes. all the series. <laughs> yes. That is so great. Yeah. Well, any other things lastly that you want to say? No, we, we don't have a lot of uh, events going on because of the, the closure uh, of Clubhouse One, but you know maybe in the fall we'll have some, some new things come up. So, okay. Yeah. Well, Just come in. Just yeah. come in and check us out. There's definitely, and, diff and all this is great because it's online, but people can come in and you'll help them as yeah, well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So. Always happy to help. We have 60 volunteers. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you, Eileen. This has been thank you. very informative. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, stay with us. We have more of this day coming up right after this. Are you struggling to hear in your noisy dining room? Do you have to pause and think about what people are saying so you can figure out the words? Do you find yourself lost in conversations? Can you hear, but you don't understand the words people are saying? You need to get on the ARC. 
No, not Noah's Ark. This is Stuart's Ark hearing aids with artificial intelligence. You will never know how much better you can hear until you listen to the clear sound and noise right in our office. Call us today. Don't miss the boat and tell them Stuart sent you. Hi, I'm Dan McEachern, and I'd like to introduce you to my son, Brandon, who's now helping us carry on our 30 plus years tradition of working in the Guna Woods. Happy up carry on my family's tradition. Yeah. As you know, we build patio enclosures and patio covers. And with summer on us, it might be a good time to give us a call. We'll, we'll do, do a, a nice, nice job, job for you. you. How do I look? You're looking really sharp, Brando. Very sharp. Yeah. Cirque du Soleil presents Kuza, an adrenaline rush of acrobatics in a zany kingdom of characters. Kuza opens June 8th under the big top at Laguna Hills Mall. Kuza thanks its official partner, Air Canada. Save up to 25% on bookings of 10 or more. Tickets on sale at CirqueDuSoleil.com. Happy June and welcome to this Friday's episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young and it's finally time for finals. Both the NBA and NHL have reached their final stages, plus a lot more has been going on around the sports world, so I'll get right to it. Starting in the NBA, the finals are set with the matchup of the Dallas Mavericks and Boston Celtics. I've talked fairly extensively about how these two teams got here, so I won't repeat myself too much, but I will cover some of the major storylines. The main storyline that you'll hear all around the final series is the comparison of both teams' superstar duos. For Boston, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown have been one of the NBA's top duos since coming together in 2017. This is their second finals appearance along with five Eastern Conference Finals as teammates. They've combined to average 51 points per game in this finals run. And for Dallas, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving have only been teammates for 482 days, but have been on fire on their way to the finals, combining to average 51.6 points per game in the playoffs after being the top scoring duo of the regular season with 59.6 points per game. The Mavs and Celtics are two of the winningest teams since the 1999 season. Boston last won in 2008 and Dallas in 2011, so it's been over a decade since either team has hoisted the Larry O'Brien trophy. Both teams rank in the top three in three-point shooting this season, so expect a lot of deep shots and high-scoring games. I mentioned it before, but the Celtics were basically the top team in the NBA across all categories this season, but the Mavericks weren't too far behind them. The final series tipped off last night with Game 1 in Boston. The Celtics used the power of home court advantage, starting the series with a win at the TD Garden in Boston to take a 1-0 lead. Game 2 will be Sunday at 5 p.m. in Boston again, then Game 3 heads to Dallas on Wednesday at 5.30. I truly don't have a prediction for this series. I believe on paper Boston should win, but with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, Dallas can shock some people. I just hope this series goes at least six games. Now for the other finals. The Stanley Cup finals are set, and the Florida Panthers and Edmonton Oilers are ready to battle it out for the right to hoist the cup. Just like the NBA, there are thousands of storylines I could cover, but I'll keep it short and sweet and talk about just a few of the main ones. And what bigger main storyline than Connor McDavid? McDavid is a generational talent, and now he gets to play on one of the biggest stages in hockey for the first time in his career, the Stanley Cup final. He's a sight to see every time he steps on the ice, and that's only been amplified in the playoffs. In 2022, McDavid carried the Oilers through two rounds with a ridiculous 33 points in just 16 games. Last year, he was again Edmonton's leader with 20 points in 12 games. This year, McDavid has somehow gotten better. His 31 points in 18 games is a jaw-dropping stat, but it really does just scratch the surface of how good he really is. As evidence, McDavid made an absurd goal in the final game with Dallas to help Edmonton close out the series. On the other side of the ice, the Florida Panthers are back in the finals for the second season in a row. Florida was the underdog of last year's postseason, starting with a round one matchup against a historic Boston Bruins team. But after rallying from a 3-1 deficit to win in seven games, the Panthers took the 2023 playoffs by storm with a trip to the Stanley Cup final. However, with a heavily injured roster, they fell short to the Vegas Golden Knights in the finals. Florida has never won a Stanley Cup, whereas Edmonton has five under their belt. So this should be an absolutely historic matchup of two very talented teams, so don't miss out on any of the action. 
Game one will be tomorrow at 5 p.m. in Florida, followed by game two on Monday, also at 5 p.m. I think Florida is probably the more well-rounded team, but I personally want to see Connor McDavid finally win the big one, so I'll be riding with Edmonton this series. Like always, I had to throw in some football news. It seems like every time I do this show and mention the NFL, I'm always saying that there's a new record-breaking contract being signed. And today's no different. The Minnesota Vikings have signed wide receiver Justin Jefferson to a four-year, $140 million contract extension that includes $110 million guaranteed. With a salary of $35 million per year, Jefferson surpasses San Francisco's Nick Bosa as the league's highest paid non-quarterback in the league. In case you were wondering why a team would pay someone that much money, I have to say it's well-deserved. Jefferson is one of five players ever with 5,000 plus receiving yards in his first four seasons, and his 5,899 career yards are nearly 400 more than any other player in NFL history along that same measure, according to NFL research. His 98.3 receiving yards per game also stand as the most in NFL history, and he somehow improved that average on a yearly basis the past four years. Jefferson's best season came in 2022, when he led the league in receptions with 128 and receiving yards with 1,809, which earned him Offensive Player of the Year award, along with his first All-Pro honor. I'm sure within the next few months, I'll be telling you about another player that breaks this record, but for now, it's a pretty incredible number. Moving over to tennis, the French Open tournament is currently going on, and one of the sport's biggest names made headlines, but for unfortunate reasons. Novak Djokovic has withdrawn from the French Open due to a knee injury, which had plagued his fourth round victory against Francisco Serendolo on Monday. Defending champion Djokovic was aiming to win his 25th Grand Slam singles title at Roland Garros, but pain in his right knee flared up during a bruising five-set contest against Serendolo. Because of his withdrawal, Casper Rudd of Norway has automatically advanced to the semifinals. Here's a look at the men's bracket. The final round of the tournament will be on Sunday at 6 a.m. Pacific time. For the women's singles, American Coco Goff is yet again making her way through the bracket. Goff cemented her place in the last four of the French Open for the second time after recovering from a set down to beat former Wimbledon finalist Ange Jabeur. After a rough set or two, the world number three corrected herself just enough to survive Jabeur, a three-time Grand Slam finalist. That win propelled her to a matchup with the number one ranked Iga Svantec in the semifinals, and this is somewhat of a new rivalry. Goff won her first major title at the 2023 US Open, but before that, the 20-year-old American was the runner-up to Svantec at the French Open in 2022. Svantec has won 10 out of their 11 matchups, so Goff was looking to finally advance past her into the finals. Unfortunately, Goff again fell short to her rival and was eliminated in the semifinals. The final round for the women will be tomorrow at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Lastly, in a different form of tennis, the 2024 Michael John North American Seniors Open of Table Tennis took place right here in Laguna Woods Village this past weekend. This was a two-star USA TT ranked event with over $13,000 in prizes for the winners. And you're looking at the results of the tournament. Congrats to all the winners of this year's tournament and to all of our residents who competed. With all that said, as always, thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Sports Corner. Be sure to enjoy all the sports you possibly can this weekend and come right back next week for more news, updates, and highlights. I'm Cole Young. Enjoy the incoming summer weather, and I'll see you next time. At Motion Drip, we believe in proactive wellness. Our IV therapy is designed to give you the well-being you deserve. With increased vitamin absorption directly into your bloodstream, it will replenish your body with hydration and nutrients to support your body's functions, increase energy levels, slow signs of aging, improve muscle recovery, and boost stamina. We are located right outside of Gate 8 on Moulton Parkway. Give us a call or visit our website to schedule your appointment today, as we will be your proactive partner in wellness. Welcome to Envision Eye Centers, conveniently located next to Laguna Woods. We offer cutting edge technology that meets unsurpassed service. You and your eyes are my priority. We will treat you with the utmost care and compassion. Some might offer local exams, but they'll send you on a trek for surgery. Skip the unnecessary travel. You can be confident that we will deliver the best outcome for your eyes. Schedule your consultation today and see the world clearly. Call us or visit our website. No inconvenience, just expert care. Hi neighbors, are you concerned about your property values? 
assessments, services. I'm concerned, oh. so come to the United Town Hall and ask all the questions you wanted to, but maybe you were afraid to ask. When? You should know that. I know. June 14th, 2 p.m., Clubhouse 3. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there too. Be there or be square. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to This Day. It's time to take a look at the movie presentations here this weekend on Village Television. Today's movie is 12 Angry Men and is being brought to you by Radnet. The film tells the story of a jury of 12 men as they deliberate the conviction or acquittal of a teenager charged with murder. On the basis of reasonable doubt, disagreement, and conflict among the jurors force them to question their morals and values. And Saturday's movie is A Simple Plan, starring Billy Bob Thornton, and this is being brought to you by Providence Mission Hospital. Three blue-collar acquaintances come across millions of dollars in lost cash and make a plan to keep their find from the authorities. But it isn't long before complications and mistrust weave their way into the plan. And now let's take a look at some announcements happening here in the village. The India Club is having a dance party and Indian dinner coming up on June 12th at 5.30 p.m. in Clubhouse 7. It's $27 for members and $37 for guests. Make sure to get your RSVP in by June 9th. For more information, you can go online to indiaclublwv.com. And a class that you are sure to enjoy this summer to keep you cool and fit is Aqua Zumba with Tracy Murray. This class is on Mondays at 4 p.m. in the Clubhouse 5 pool, and it's only $25 for five classes. And you can just pick whichever Mondays you would like to come. Let's take a look outside at the weather. It's our typical Southern California June gloom. There's still fog out there this morning, and then it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 61. Tomorrow on Saturday, it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 76 and a low of 60. On Sunday, we'll have morning fog once again, and then it'll be partly cloudy for the day. On Monday and Tuesday, it should be mostly sunny skies. Looking ahead tomorrow on this day, we have the Broadway Music Lovers Club and also Thrive in the Village, so make sure you tune back in for that. And that's it for us here on this day. Thank you so much for watching. For this day, I'm Bobby Higgins. Have a great day, everyone. Some moments we wish could last forever. Some memories will always hold close. Five decades of Australian furniture design, grounded in simplicity, designed to last, passed down from one generation to the next. King, something worth keeping. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. Remember me, I'm the king of whoopee. <laughs> and you're watching Village Television, but everybody does. <laughs>